Hey YouTube, I'm here this time a couple of days early with the finale of my Fall Bath & Body Works Use It Up Challenge. Um, even though I mentioned that this would run until uh, November 30th, I'm at a point where I will not pull any more items from my challenge and therefore I'm ready to just go ahead and show you my finale. So I will kick off my winter challenge on December 1st. I'm going to wait until this season, if you will, but again, because I'm not gonna pull any other items, I am ready to just go ahead and do my finale for the fall. So um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rachel and I do pretty much exclusively Bath & Body Works videos. So if you're interested in that content, definitely subscribe and stay tuned, especially for December 1st when I launch my winter Bath & Body Works uh, use it up challenge. I'll have my empties. I'll have a really exciting uh, Bath and Body Works candle day haul. So all kinds of good stuff coming up at the beginning of December. So again, definitely stay tuned. But for today, let's get into my fall use it up challenge. So I started back on September 1st with 42 items. September 1st at the same time feels like so long ago and like five minutes ago. I, I don't know, make that make sense, but it just feels like it went really fast and also really slow at the same time. I didn't do a low buy per se, but I do decide, or I did decide to generally challenge myself to have a two out one in system per category. So for every uh, two shower gels I use up, I can bring one in, you know, something like that. So I don't struggle in every single category of my Bath and Body Works collection, but there are some like hand soaps um, and some categories that I go very slowly through, like my fine fragrance mist and my lotions. And that's why I have that two out one in. So really that's my goal when I do my challenges. Again, sometimes I'll do a low buy, it just kind of depends on the season, um, but I do do that two out, one in. And in probably maybe a week or two, I will make a video explaining how I do that, um, just because I did have a comment recently asking about that. So um, that's, a, that's the chit chat that I have. Again, I did start with 42 items. Now I'm going to get into what I uh, did not use up in my fall challenge. I've got five items. Honestly, I can live with it, but let me share what I've got still. So I have two hand soaps left. I have one in cherry almond shortbread. I think I bought maybe like four of these when they came back out this season. This scent was out several years ago and then took a really long hiatus. So I wanted to jump on it when it came back out. Um, the packaging I'm kind of whatever about. I don't really know what a flower and leaves have to do with uh, cherry almond shortbread, but I do appreciate that there is a um, a shortbread cookie and some almonds and I guess some cherries. They look really dark. So anyway, whatever. Uh, keynotes are vanilla shortbread, candied almond, and cherry. So even though I'm kind of like whatever about, about the packaging, I really love this scent. It honestly smells like, I don't know, is it a cherry Tootsie Pop? Is it a raspberry Tootsie Pop? I don't know, the red Tootsie Pop. Kind of smells like that, honestly. But I really love it. So I... <laughs> You know, I didn't want to pressure myself to go ahead and just use this up because I do have a ton of them. And by, again, a ton, I mean like three or four. Um, but I feel like this would be a perfect transition into the holidays. So I'm actually going to put this into my winter use it up challenge. Again, you'll see that launch on December 1st. But honestly, I can see myself pulling this out on December 1st and using it as kind of my transition into the holidays kind of fragrance. So I'll have some of my Christmassy uh, soaps out in, in December, definitely, but this might be a good transition for that as well. So cherry almond sh shortbread, I didn't get to it, but I will stick it right into my winter use it up challenge. The other hand soap that I did not get to is pomegranate and blackberry. I just bought one of these, but I do really enjoy this scent. Again, it is an autumnal scent, but I am going to work this one into my winter use it up challenge as well. I'll probably just dive right into it starting December 1st. The keynotes are autumn pomegranate, sugared blackberry, and vanilla spice. And yeah, it just kind of smells like a generically uh, kind of autumnal, a little bit spicy mixed berry fragrance. So I know that it's not especially descriptive, but I think it is appropriate given the keynote. So again, it's definitely autumnal, but I am ready to use it up. So I do want to just put it into my winter challenge. 
All right, so an item that I did not get to that honestly surprised even me is a scrub. Usually I finish up my scrubs with time to spare, but this season for some reason was different. Maybe it's because I felt like it got cold like kind of fast here, at least relatively speaking. I mean, today is November 26th and yesterday in Kansas City, we had a snowstorm. So I don't know, when the weather gets colder, I tend to go through my scrub slower because I use this as like a pre-shaving product. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe in the spring and summer, I'll put more scrubs into my challenges, but maybe I'll kind of pull, pull back the reins a little bit moving forward with fall and winter. So um, again, this is in Champagne, Apple and Honey. I purchased two of these back uh, to get ready for the fall. The uh, fragrance notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, and autumn woods. Champagne, apple, and honey is not a scent that I like to hoard. I definitely don't, but every year I do enjoy picking up a couple of items in this scent. So again, this will get worked into my December or my winter challenge. I'm really not going to hang on to this just because I you know, don't really care to. Like I would prefer to just use it up and enjoy it. So it will get worked into my winter challenge. The last two, uh, last two items I have are pocket backs. I have one in fresh balsam and I also have one in ice lemon pound cake. Same kind of thing. I'm just gonna work every single one of these into my winter challenge. I'm not gonna bother putting them back into my stash because as far as I'm concerned, usually once something has been at least part of a challenge, I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to use it up, ready to enjoy it and honestly just move on. So fresh balsam clearly works very nicely. This is going to be my December uh, pocket back just because it's clearly very appropriate for it. Even if you think that fresh balsam is too intense in uh, in home fragrance, I would recommend it for a pocket back or uh, in a hand soap. So I feel like it's less intense. It's more palatable in these forms. So yeah, even if you don't like that home fragrance, definitely check these out. And then the other one, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Again, I'll just kind of work this in whenever. I really don't have an issue hoarding pocket backs. So they tend to roll between my challenges. And this will just be another example of that. So Ice Lemon Pound Cake, I love this scent. Um, I also have the shower gel of this, my second of two that I purchased over the summer in my winter challenge as well. So again, I went from 42 down to five. I think that's pretty all right. So I've definitely done better in other challenges, but I'm really not beating myself up just because, you know, really this, the point of this is to document it and not rush through so quickly or pressure myself so much that I'm not enjoying my products. So I'm all right with the fact that I've done better, but I'm also all right with the fact that, uh, you know, that I'm just gonna roll this, <clears throat> excuse me, roll this into my winter challenge and be totally cool with that. Like I really don't mind. So you'll see all this um, maybe in my December empties, but definitely in my January empties, you'll see all this in reviews with these kinds of products. So um, that's all. I hope you guys always, as always, enjoy um, following me on my Use It Up challenges. Like I mentioned, if you're new, welcome. I will launch my Winter Use It Up challenge on December 1st. Again, I'll have empties coming up. I'll do a home fragrance empties coming up because I do have an overfilling or overflowing bag right now. I'll have a candle day haul, all kinds of good stuff coming up. So definitely uh, stick around to see more. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at lifting and lipstick. I'll put that down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.